Chapter 5 Ted kept newborn greyhound puppies with their mothers until they were several weeks old. He would register the pups with a national association for greyhounds. Ted gave Fly her name which would be used for racing. She would be known as Fly to the finish line. Ted called her Fly, for short. Once Fly and the other puppies were registered, Ted and the trainers would determine if they were ready to move them to another part of the farm. Here the greyhounds would become students and would learn what their purpose in life was to be. Fly realized that her mother, brothers, and sisters were no longer around. She also realized that she was getting a lot more exercise by being outside to run around an oval, dirt track. This was becoming a routine every day. She was also allowed to play with other Greyhound students. All of this new activity gradually made her forget about her mom and the others. Fly and her classmates were fed very well and enjoyed each other's company. Sometimes, they were allowed to play by doing things like nipping at each other's ears and rolling around on the ground jumping on each other like little fuzzy wrestlers. Once though, Fly yelped very loudly when one of the greyhound puppies played a little too roughly. All of this roughhousing had a purpose which was to get the greyhounds to a point where they were strong, energetic, and athletic. Over time, the skin on their bodies grew tight, defining their beautiful, sleek muscles and their strong, long necks. Fly and her classmates were turning into graceful, swift-running creatures. About a year after Fly and her classmates were born, Ted and the trainers began to introduce them to their new jobs. They had gotten used to wearing a racing jacket that was strapped around their chests and went halfway down their bodies. They would get used to wearing this while running around the track and chasing a white, stuffed fuzzy sock that to the dogs looked like a bunny rabbit. This is called the lure and it was placed on a runway rail that was installed on the top of the inside fencing of the track. Fly had a great interest in chasing the sock. She didn't understand why she wanted to catch the sock, just that she wanted to be the first one to do so. Fly was the fastest in her class and it was a good thing that Fly had such a great interest in the sock. She would learn later why that was so important to Ted and the trainers. Throughout her training, Fly began to notice that some of the students in her class were no longer there. What Fly did not know was that, because some of the students lost interest in chasing the sock or were not as fast as Fly, they were cold or removed from the farm and retired to shelters if they were lucky. Ted happened to be one of those breeders that did not believe in having his non-preforming greyhounds euthanized. He would provide them to shelters, where they could be adopted. For now, Fly had nothing to worry about. Currently, she was assigned as a Class J or Juvenile class in the range of the different greyhound racing classes. These were indicated by letters like A, B, and M for Maiden. Fly's class was to change and rise up the list of classes each time she won a race. Fly was doing so well in her training that by the time she was 16 months old, Ted introduced her to her first race at a Seabrook, New Hampshire racetrack. By now, Fly weighed about 60 pounds and could run over 40 miles per hour. Fly did not win the race that day. One of Ted's trainers put Fly into the trap, which is the starting gate, and shut the door. Fly knew that when that door opened, she was to bolt out of the trap and find the sock and chase after it as fast as she could. This sock was different this time, though. It actually looked like a bunny and its name was Yankee. This threw her off for a second and could be why she came in fourth place in the race. However, Ted and the trainer were impressed by her style. Fly's head faced straight and was aligned perfectly with her very strong neck. Her shoulders, chest, and back worked in unison and provided her with the running style of a champion. Of all of his racers, Ted favored Fly because not only was she a great competitor, she was a beautiful greyhound. And, when she was startled or inquisitive about something, she would open her ears straight up and out, and her brown bright eyes would grow more bright and intelligent looking. These characteristics indicated that Fly was a happy and eager greyhound who wanted to please Ted and the trainers on the farm.